لا إله إلا الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته boys and girls I hope you're all doing well today ما شاء الله here comes Abu Dhamdam again yay have you been missing Abu Dhamdam yay Abu Dhamdam's been missing you too I wanted to really come back and be with all of you lovely little boys and girls. Yes! Today we're going to speak about somebody very, very, very special. Who can think who that special person is? Mm -mm. Who can think? Who's so special to you? Am I going to speak about your mommy? Or is it your daddy? Mm. They are special to you, aren't they? Yes! Am I going to speak about your big brother and <coughs> baby sister? They are special to you, aren't they? Yes! Or am I going to speak about your grandma and your grandpa? Yes! All of them are very special people to you. Am I going to speak about your best friend <coughs> in school? Yes! They're very special to you also, aren't they? Yes. Am I going to speak about your uncle or your aunt or your cousin who you love to always play with? These are all very, very special people in the world to all of us. But I'm going to speak about somebody who's even more special than mommy and daddy, <coughs> grandma and grandpa, brother and sister, uncle and aunt. Cousin and cat and everybody in this world. Who can think of this special person who's more special than everybody we just mentioned? And guess what? He's even more special than Abu Dham Dham! Yay! <laughs> Ooh, he must be very special if he's even more special than Abu Dham Dham. Who wants to know who that person is? It's the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ah, yes, I knew you would get that right, all of you! And how do we say his blessed, beloved, such a nice name? How do we say it? Muhammad 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 and after we say his blessed name, what do we say? We always say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or peace be upon him. Because he's ever so special. And whenever we mention his name, we should always be humble. We, we should always feel something very special in our hearts. Because we're talking about the one who is ever so special. More special than everybody in this world. So whenever we say his name, we should feel something very, very nice in our hearts. And we should say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and say peace be upon him because the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is the greatest the kindest the most beautiful person allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever made yes there was never anybody before him nor anybody after him who was more beautiful than him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was never anybody before him and never anybody after him who was more kind than him, who was more generous than him. And do you know what? The Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he loved children and he used to play with children and he used to pick them up and hug them and he used to put them on his blessed shoulders and he used to wipe his hand over their heads and sometimes on their cheeks. And you know when those children used to go home, their mommies used to say, I know you met the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam today because I can smell his very, very nice Hooray! smell on your head or on your cheek. And those children would have ever such a beautiful smell stay on their cheeks or on top of their heads. Wherever the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam touched them, that smell would stay there and last for a very long time. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? 
Ah, oh, only if we had all seen him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But perhaps if we start to feel that special feeling in our hearts and we start to read about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and ask our mommy and daddy and listen to Abu Dhamdham when he speaks about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we may end up seeing him when we're asleep we may see him and when we wake up in the morning we'll be so excited and so happy that we saw the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is ever so special ever so kind ever so beautiful and he was our Prophet and he was our messenger and he was the one who bought us the Quran and he was the one who taught us about Islam and he was the one who taught us how to live like good human beings till next time see you later alligator assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu from Abu Dhamdham